people who lived in the buildings in Nashua that were damaged by fire on Monday still don't have a permanent place to stay. WMUR Stephanie Woods is live at the shelter that the Red Cross has set up in Nashua with the latest information for us. Stephanie? Well, Tom, the Red Cross tells us that they've been giving the victims of the West Hollis Street fire three meals a day and a place to sleep at this Nashua church. But tomorrow morning at 9, this temporary shelter is set to close, and five people are still without a place to go. It's been hard, you know. Um, we lost pretty much everything, and now we're just trying to get back on our feet, and I'm trying to move on with my family. Hector Mirabal and his girlfriend Anna were relaxing with their three-week-old baby in their Nashua apartment Monday when they heard a knock at the door. A massive fire was tearing through their West Hollis Street building, and they had to get out. The first thing I grabbed was my baby, and then I said, let's go. And we got out. We didn't even get a chance to grab anything. We just got out safely, and that's all that matters, that we're still alive. That's the most important thing. But the fire destroyed their apartment. Mirabal and his family have been staying at a temporary shelter at St. Louis de Gonzaga Parish, thanks to the American Red Cross. But the shelter closes at 9 Thursday morning. One thing to remember is that a lot of these people don't have insurance. Uh, some people take that for granted that if something like this happens, you just call your insurance company. Not everyone has insurance these days, so they have nothing really to fall back on. The five alarm fire impacted 30 people, including Christine LaRouche. The only thing that I could see was orange and yellow flames in my bedroom, and my bedroom was burning. LaRouche says she's lucky to be staying with her daughter, but she lost nearly everything in the fire. My heart goes out to everyone that has gone through what I went through. And I also like to God bless everybody in the whole wide world. Well, the Red Cross is working with Nashua Emergency Management to find permanent housing by all those affected by the fire. And they say by tomorrow morning, everyone will have at least a temporary roof over their head. Now, if you would like to help, you can donate to the Red Cross or donate to the Mirabal family by funding their GoFundMe page listed on WMUR.com. Live in Nashua, Stephanie Woods, WMUR News 9.